I'm a chemist in JKS Testing Laboratory. I'm in charge of technical cleanliness analysis in accordance with BD 19.1 and ISO 16232. BD 19.1 and ISO 16232 are technical cleanliness standards for the automotive industry. These standards specify the guidelines to determine particle contamination on functionally relevant components and systems. Technical cleanliness analysis consists of three main steps particle extraction, filtration, and analysis of particles. Over here, our technical cleanliness analysis takes place in a controlled environment where only authorized and trained personnel are given access to these facilities. Before the particle extraction is carried out on an actual component, blank level test is performed to identify the total value of contamination from the test environment. Once the blank value criteria is achieved, the analysis is carried out with the actual component. Particle extraction is where the contamination are detached from the component using a cleaning solvent. The extraction method is determined by the features of the component, such as the size, shape, accessibility to all surface area of interest. The extraction requirements can be set in the recipe control to ensure reproducible conditions. Hence, for liquid extraction, the part is rinsed either by flooding, agitation, ultrasound, or pressure rinsing according to the component's inspection procedure. After the extraction process, the basin is rinsed thoroughly in order to make sure all the particles are collected. Then the cleaning solvent containing the extracted particles is filtered using a special membrane. This membrane is selected according to the size of particles of interest as stated in cleanliness specifications. All the filter membranes are conditioned before and after extraction to ensure reproducible condition. The filter membrane is then removed from the membrane holder for drying process. Using the conventional drying method, which is using desiccator with silica gel, takes around several hours to dry these membranes. With easy dry membrane, our membrane drying process takes around 8 to 10 minutes. Once the filter membrane is dried, it is weighed to calculate the total mass of contaminants based on their differences in weight. The weight of residual contamination also forms part of the cleanliness analysis. Next, the filter membrane is placed on a light microscope to capture the image whereby the particle count software automatically analyzes and captures the quantity, size, and the type of particles. The particle count software generates the cleanliness test report where it shows information about the test piece received, extraction parameters, test conditions, and finally the results of the cleanliness analysis. Generally, in technical analysis, there are three different kinds of particles. These are metallic, non-metallic, and fiber particles. Depending on the size of particles, they can cause electrical short circuit, jamming of bearings, and even blocking of filters and nozzles. So, to summarize, BD 19.1 and ISO 16232 cleanliness analysis consists of blank level tests, particle extraction, gravimetry analysis, and particle analysis. Thank you.